All right. So today we're going to be talking about airlines and specifically which airline stock to buy. So if you clicked on this video, you're probably considering getting into the airline industry, exposing your portfolio to airlines, and you're possibly worried about what's going to happen to airlines as oil prices change, because that's a huge factor in the stock price of an airline. All right, so right now we're in a oil bearer market. The price of oil has been falling. People are saying that it might continue falling. Other analysts are saying that we've hit a bottom and we're gonna start to head up. Really, I don't know, that's not my forte. Um, but I ran a statistical study anyway to see what airlines you should be investing in in either case and in the case that you don't know which one. What, what, what direction oil will be, will be headed, okay? So, the study was basically this. Um, I took 11 major airlines. Uh, I think they're all from the US. Yes, they were, because they're on the New York Stock Exchange. So I took 11 major airlines. I looked at a lot of their fundamental data. I did linear regression analyses. And what I was looking at was how they deal with oil expenditures and how much oil they use and also the efficiency of that airline. So what I did in the end was I chose three winners for those stocks, all right? The first winner would be the winner during an oil bear market. That would be the airline that would benefit most from oil prices going down. And I determined that by looking at the airline who, uh, that, the airline that has been increasing in how much oil they are using for their airlines. Okay. Winner number two will be the winner for the bull market for oil. So if oil prices start to go upward, which airline would be the best? And uh, well, obviously if oil start prices start to go up, the airline that can handle um, those oil price increases the best will win. And we looked at things like um, the ability to uh, control prices of oil uh, per customer and you know other I had a, a huge list of data, so you can actually go, I don't have the data um, for you, but you can go and look at the article in the link below and see how I determined these three winners. Uh, the third winner would just be the overall most efficient airline in terms of load factor. Load factor is a common method to measure airline efficiency. Uh, it basically says how full are your airplanes and uh, you know how much money are you getting per flight, something like that. Okay? Um, these are just details. Overall, the point of this video is to show you which airline you should invest on, invest in, depending on your outlook on the oil market. All right? So here are the results for an oil bear market, which is where we're at right now. The airline JetBlue, stock ticker JBlue, J-B-L-U, is your best bet. So if you think that oil is going to continue downward, this is probably a good airline stock to buy. If you believe, however, that oil prices are going to rebound soon or have hit a bottom, then your best bet is ALGT. Okay? Um, and then if you don't really know, if you are neither bullish nor bearish on oil prices, what you're going to do is you're also going to invest in ALDT because they have the highest load factor. Load factors tend to top off at around 90%, and ALDT has been topped off for the past five years or so. They cannot get it any higher, and all of the other airlines I looked at have not reached ALDT's level and sustained the level. Sometimes they'll get close to 90% and then drop a bit, but overall in terms of efficiency, ALGT is your best bet in um, a uncertain market, all right? But because JBlue has so much expenditure on oil, if oil prices continue downward, they will probably outperform ALGT. Otherwise, ALGT will outperform JetBlue. So I would say only invest in JetBlue if you believe that oil will continue downward. Otherwise, invest in ALGT. Now you see I've written 
Dow here, which is Delta Airlines. Why did we write that there? Well, after I ran this study, someone said, hey, the study looks good, but you included uh, the years after 9-11, which is when the airline industry kind of tanked. And uh, at that time, it was an anomaly in the airline industry, so you should remove all that data. And I did, and I reran the study, and the results were the same, except you would replace JetBlue with Delta Airlines. So if you don't think, I personally don't want to remove um, the years after 9-11, considering them um, outliers. I don't really like doing that. But if you really think those are outliers and that the airline industry um, should not be able to cope with such an event for whatever reason, I mean, it's a business. Sometimes you're gonna have problems in the economy, such as 9-11, you're gonna have unexpected events. Um, so I would include all that data just to see how certain airlines cope with that. And I don't think that would hurt the linear regression too much. And actually it didn't because the results were basically the same. Um, but Dow kind of edged over JetBlue. So um, if you think 9-11 and the years after it were an anomaly and it won't happen again for the airline industry, then perhaps Delta Airlines is a better bet if you believe oil will continue downward than JetBlue. So overall, if you think oil is gonna continue moving downward, the price of oil is gonna go downward, JetBlue and Delta are your best. Otherwise, invest in ALGT. Quick disclaimer, I am short on JetBlue. Uh, I believe, well, I'm kind of speculating, I'm using options, okay? I'm using a put option on JetBlue. I'm speculating that oil prices will go up which will probably make JetBlue, uh, JetBlue stock price go down, and if it goes down, I will make money. So there's your disclaimer. I have no positions on either of these two stock, but I am short on JetBlue. If you have any questions on stock options, like what options to buy in these, I can give you uh, advice on that. Just leave your questions in the comment section below, and I'll do that.